Hey, I was in a bar just the other day and a great big fat ugly woman came up to me and she said, are you ever cute? And I said, oh, oh, oh. she said, you really are cute. Can I have your number? And I said, hey, you got a pen? I have a pen. I said, well, you better get back in it because soon the farmer will miss you. Hey, six stitches and three bruises. But I got to tell you, it was okay. And now we're moving on to Canada. The Conservative Party of Canada, they're always doing this. All they do is talk about the other guy. Tell me what you're going to do. My dad told me this when I was a little kid. If you ever work for Pepsi-Cola, tell the world how great Pepsi is. Don't tell them how bad Coca-Cola is all of the time. And that's all the Conservatives in Canada continue to do. Two pages here that I printed off in the most recent email. Again, in response to our growing concern about our crisis at the border, the Liberals aren't doing this. Firearms bill, Liberals aren't doing this. We know that already. Tell us what you're going to do. Two pages of nonsense. Condemn, condemn, condemn. Hey, talk, talk, talk. Why don't you talk? Tell us what you're going to do. Let's have term limits. Let's do a lot of great things in the country. Oh, but you always do what everybody says they're going to do. We're going to reduce your taxes and give you more free stuff. That ain't possible. In the old days, I would have said, <laughs> no, I, I won't go there. Hey, but it's a cute story. I'll share it with you some other day. These people make me crazy. And then there's a the prime mistake, of course, on the other side. In Canada. I'm still in Canada. Stick with me. He's always apologizing to everybody, particularly for things in the past. He never talks about the future. Particularly, he doesn't talk about the present, other than he's going to a gay pride parade and somebody needs to go to the bathroom, but uh, uh, I don't know what bathroom you got to go to. You know what? Either he doesn't have enough to do or he doesn't know how to do it. One or the other, do your job. I mean, you shouldn't have time to talk about stuff like that when you're in charge of a country, right? There, there's a zillion kind of employees. You need to go out and see what's going on. Instead, he's focused on a couple of items. He's continuing to talk about them all the time. It is just bad. Now we're really swinging. Keep sticking with me. Hey, I know stuff. I mean, I'm now talking about South Africa. My youngest son was just there recently. He went over and did the, uh, he represented Canada for the World Triathlon and did very well. I'm very proud of him. Now, talking about the news in South Africa, Black First, Land First is the name of a revolutionary socialist political party in South Africa. That, that, you know what, you can't even distinguish it from a communist party. And But these guys are so vocal and they're saying, hey, you're white. Got to put you down. They're killing white people. They're taking their land away. And, and um, this leader goes on to say this. I have aspirations to kill white people. And this must be achieved. White's not a good color lately in a lot of places. And even the white people who are in countries that are in charge of white people and other people don't like white people. Are you able to process all that? I'm talking now about the Canadian Prime Minister and others. Now, let's talk about religion. Okay. <laughs> How would you like it if I opened up an ice cream chain across Canada, still in Canada, and I'm going to name it Sweet Muhammad? How do you feel about that? Well, firstly, there's a law that says I can't do that because uh, there's special protections for Muslims that are not available to the rest of the, the, you know, the nation with regard to religion. But, but if I did that, there would kind of be an uproar, right? <laughs> but, however, there is an ice cream shop. It's called Sweet Jesus Ice Cream. It's a chain. I think there's about two dozen stores now. They're opening it up across the country, and there's no outcry other than from small groups in the main press, mainstream press, doesn't talk about it. I don't think that's very nice. I, I, I mean, how is it that a business can mock the name of Jesus Christ? Aren't there any standards for business licensing? I, I mean, really? Uh, contempt and ridicule? And, and again, you've got the prime mistake running around talking about gay pride parades and everything else. He says he's a Catholic, doesn't do anything that the Pope tells him to do, but, but that's another story with regard to abortions and so on. But this is kind of serious stuff. Sweet Jesus ice cream. I Google it. Look up their website. I, I mean, and then, you know, run off and get a license and open up one beside it called Sweet Muhammad's ice cream and see how you do. <clears throat> Maybe things aren't fair, do you think? A high-risk sex offender has been released to live in Surrey, B.C., but now he can kind of live anywhere and everywhere, and nobody will tell you where he's living. His name is Jeffrey Goddard. He's 28 years old. He has posed in the past as a police officer, a firefighter, and so on, and, and he lures children on the Internet, and, and uh, he has a history, a, a long history of doing this stuff, right? And officials won't say where he's living. As I've said, his release conditions include that, we have no, that he have no communication with anyone under 18. He doesn't go by schools and so on. But he has failed to comply with probation several times in the past. So where am I going with that? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> it is said that a child molester averages 100 children in his thing. 
I don't get all the verbiage there because my skin is crawling as I'm talking, right? And, and, and they hardly serve time at all. And, and the public isn't warned about them. And they can't be fixed. And, and there's not a big outcry because we're all kind of frightened of the topic, right? Oh, geez, it's not very nice. I want to start a public cry about this. It should be capital punishment. People like this young man that I'm talking about, the 28-year-old, he should never see his 30th birthday for sure. I mean, they should all be put down. It's kind of like a dog. Picture a mad dog. And, and he's foaming at the mouth and, you, mouth and you put him in a pen. Are you going to leave him there for the rest of his life? He can't be cured. Or should you do him a service and everyone else in the block in case he ever escapes? And boom. Of course you should. Capital punishment. All of you people in Canada, particularly Canada, I'm still talking about that because in the U.S. they have capital punishment. They don't deal with child molesters as well as they should with the Catholic churches and so on. But it needs to be dealt with. These are bad people. They do bad things. They wreck thousands and thousands of lives. Each person wrecks thousands of lives. Thousands of lives. For heaven's sakes, kill this person. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.